Hello, the Ask Mike Show, we're back, another episode, Mike here, your host, and we are talking about commitment today, we are talking all about how do I get to a space where I'm more committed, how do I get to that space whereby I can commit to things, because someone that's tuning into the show has asked me about how can they do that, because they struggle with commitment if you're new to the show make sure you subscribe because this will be an important one for a lot of people spread the word commitment is important one of the ways that you want to figure out how to be more committed that's the first question you ask how can you be more committed what would it take and sometimes being able to really commit to something is about saying no to something else Something not many people realize. When you're saying yes to something, you're saying no to other things. And most people don't want to say no. Most people just want to keep saying yes. And they spread themselves too thinly and they can't really commit to one thing or two things or three things or five things, whatever it is. So what people need to realize is not so much what do you want to commit to, what are you prepared to commit to, but what are you not? What don't you want to do? What do you want to stop doing? And that frees you up. That frees up your energy. That frees up your motivation. That frees up your time to be able to commit to the other things. Because very often, it's just about practicality. It's just about you're spreading yourself too thin. You don't have the energy. You don't have the time. Which are the two main things when it comes to commitment is giving your time to it and giving your energy to it. Possibly even money as well. Those three resources are very important when it comes to showing your commitment. When it comes to being more committed, they are the three things that we think about. And in order to do that, if you only have so much time, only so much money, only so much energy, there is only so much you can do, you know? And increasing those resources, if you've got more energy, you can do more in less time. And that might free up more time to do other things. And then if you figure out how you can save money, what can you do to be able to shift that balance more in your favor finances wise, you can commit financially to things as well. And sometimes it is just about resources. Sometimes it is just about sitting down and going, okay. What do I want to stop doing? What do I want to stop diverting these resources to so I can shift it into this area that I really want to go all in on? That's a question that you might want to ask. And then when it comes to commitment as well, very often it can be a leap. It can be, I'm going to put myself out there. I am going to leave things behind, so to speak, to be able to commit to this thing and go all in. Because very often it's letting go of the past, letting go of your previous commitments that can allow you to do that. That can allow you to really, really commit to the things that you really want to do. So that's what I would say. It's not just about, I just need to put my energy in the right places because you might not have the time to do that. You might have to prioritize your time more. You might have to look at how you're currently spending your time and say, I'm not spending enough time in this area. I'm not because I feel like I'm struggling to commit to this thing. And when I look at my diary, it's because I don't have the time and I need to organize myself. I need to plan. I need to take this away, take that away so I can spend more time in this area so that I feel like I am more committed. Because most people will feel committed once they have dedicated their time, their money, and their energy to, a, to something. And if you can't do that, you've got to get a little bit analytical. You've got to go through a bit of an awareness exercise to figure out where you're at. And then you can go from there. If it's a mental thing, committing emotionally, committing mentally, it's a mental battle. And you've got to have that conversation inside your own head. The resources will help with that because everything works both ways. We feel a certain way to act a certain way and we act a certain way to feel a certain way. If you do the sort of practical, dedicating resources in that area, 
the mental conversation might be a lot easier. It might be a lot less stressful. You might be a bit more open to that thing. And the conversation might go a heck of a lot smoothly compared to if you're looking at everything and going, but you're not doing those things. Why aren't you doing those things? And you start to beat yourself up, which isn't what we want, because that's a cycle of distrusting yourself. That's a cycle of giving yourself a reason to hate yourself, if truth be told. So that's where it comes from. It's about the conversation inside your own head that ends with you being able to commit more. You've got to ask yourself the right questions. You've got to be brutally honest with yourself. You've got to be truthful. You've got to separate all of the emotions apart from the commitment. You can't act in fear because that will keep you stuck. That will keep you exactly where you are, which is not where you want to be. So you've got to shift away from fear and towards things like excitement, passion, love in some cases. That is what you've got to do. It's about acting out of different emotions as well as resources, as well as the conversations inside your own head. They all end with you dedicating more time, more energy, more money, more of your resources to this thing that you want to commit to. So I hope that makes sense. Let me know if you have any more questions about it. Tag me on social media. Leave a review if you enjoyed the episode. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of our future episodes. Plenty of guests, plenty of things happening with the show. I'm excited and I'm glad to have you along on the journey. Make sure you do those things so that you don't miss any of the shows and that you become part of the family. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I look forward to chatting to you all again very, very soon.